Welcome back everyone to Chemical React. It's a me, Fusion Form. And over there, like always, is my co-host Gorilla Fist. Hello. And today we have Skate Infinity Episode 7. Alright. So last episode was a beach episode. I was kinda random. Um you may not see it now, Fusion, but, but I it was a missed opportunity because I forgot to wear my Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> so I'm making it for now. Oh. But yeah. Oh, I was that is a missed opportunity. Damn, even I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I opened up my closet. But we didn't see yeah, it coming. You know. Anyway, yeah. We didn't see it coming, and it wasn't as bad as we thought it was. It was actually pretty entertaining for what it was, right? Yeah, yeah typically, typically beach episodes are pretty slow, methodic, maybe some fan service stuff. Uh, but it was uh, still pretty funny, nonetheless. But now we're probably going to get back into the serious aspect of it, if you can call it serious. It is serious. But, yeah, fair enough. That's enough rambling in the intro. So, before we start, if you enjoyed reacting to this episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Also, come join our Discord, Twitter, and Patreon if you want to stay up to date or support us or get access to a raw reacting footage to this series and many more. And with that further ado, Fusion, I got my fingers up. And three, two, one, go. She's gonna do it to you. Oh. He's like, I'm <laughs> gonna do it. <laughs> Oh, okay, oh. okay, he's showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the little kids, they're impressed too. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, gosh. Is she like a cop? It seems like it, right? Or an investigator of some sort? Like a prosecutor. Oof. <laughs> that really hurts. <laughs> Don't you love their dynamic? A little bit. Honestly, I'd rather see them, those two, uh, skate it out. I still want that free for all. I think it will happen. If it's not going to happen in this season, it will happen in season two. If there is a season two. Like it hurt. No, he's become consumed with the adrenaline of skating. Huh. Never thought about that. Really? I don't know much about snowboarding, dude. You snowboard? Yeah, but we were talking about how that he has this advantage because he was snowboarding. Yeah, but I never thought about like, oh, snowboarders tend to go off of ramps and be in high elevation compared to skateboarders. Because the snowboarding ramps are usually bigger. Yeah, but, but he's also being like... He's also, uh, what's it called? Getting tunnel vision because he's like, I can go faster, I can go further. True. And he's getting my suspicion, or at least my whole concern is that he's going to go too high up and hurt himself. I still think he's going to go to the dark side. I don't think so. He sure is. Getting jealous. He seems more like Ray K is going to be the one that's going to go to the dark side. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a twist of the opening? Is that Coke? Oh my god. How are you gonna drink Coca-Cola at this time? I mean, Ola Cola. What do you mean? There you go. Man, he's so out of it right now. He also forgot the umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> Quick question, do you check the weather every day or no? If I'm going out. Okay. Ohio. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> it's like they're pulling out all the stops to, ma to make Ray K be jealous. What's next? <laughs> right. What's next? Like the girl that he likes actually likes Langa? Oh my god, don't do that. I look, T. Hey. Oh no, but it's with these people. I I can see him just like taking over everything his family has. Yeah. That's what I want to see. But I don't know his whole. I guess he's what to say motivation or reasoning to be in politics. Was it just because his family and parents were in it, or was it expected him to do that? I think it's probably that one.
I don't know. Could be both. That's it. He's gonna go to Canada and he's gonna learn how to snowboard. Hi, <laughs> Canada. That's because that's where he's from. I mean, there's so many other places you can go snowboard. I know. Look at all the fucking road. <laughs> I don't know. He's... The what? It's got a speedometer on it and shit? Or a radar speedometer? What do you even that's call it? No, it's interesting. They're both dealing with something. Yeah. The helicopter. helicopter. Oh, uh, of course, love. Of course. Oh, he would parachute. All right, where we landed, boys? What? Oh my God, there's a. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What a guy! What an entrance! You know what that kind of reminds you of? What? Baku's father when he came through the helicopter through the building. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's starting a tournament. Where's this spotlight coming from? The helicopter? Yes. You know, as time progresses, right? Uh -huh. I kind of wanted to be shipped together, become a couple. <laughs> totally. You gotta win something, right? Oh, he's actually a genuine good guy. Or at least to her. <laughs> Are you gonna tell her? That's what's gonna happen, right? He's gonna either win, not gonna win the tournament. He's gonna lose the tournament, and that's when he's gonna. Oh, never mind. He's gonna be like everything. Go ahead. Okay, whatever. <laughs> this dramaticness. This is old Adam. That's young Adam. Old, old, old Adam is an old. The fuck are you? What? <laughs> You know what I meant. I know, but it's completely the opposite. <laughs> but it's old Adam in past. Of course, it's young Adam as well. I don't know, man. <laughs> you probably listen. Kind of sounds like a jealous boyfriend. I don't want to hear about this guy. <laughs> he is having a meltdown. And she's crazy. I was think I was, I was just thinking like, Reiki was more like, you know, if he can do it, if he can do it 10 times, then I would have to do it 11 times type of thing, you know? Uh Oh, shit. Oh, wow. What? Jesus. And other animes where the, things like this get involved, it takes about like a couple episodes. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, well. Well, time to plot the revenge. It's just Man, like he's his, been here forever. He's like his. He's just like his asshole father, dude. There you go. Yeah, you can do it. I never understood why people get jealous of their friends, but I understand. Maybe it's like a moment, but it should be motivation to become better and then challenge each other. But why can't he even reach it? Uh, I, 
Ah. I don't know, man. Uh, sometimes having maybe he's all in his head. Well, it's not that. It's also yeah, like I said, it's all it's, having confidence makes a huge difference in everything. Get it? It's hard to reach. It's a skateboard. Get it? Because it's it's hard to reach for the stars. Yep. Damn. I mean, the skateboard's pretty different too. It's true. Damn, he's the homie. <laughs> and Ricky's over here just. He literally waited for him. The first thing he said, <laughs> "Welcome home." Like he didn't say, "You didn't even get mad," or like, "Where you been?" You know. Now, don't do that. You were terrified. Oh. It fear got to him. With a little bit of self. Yep. That's your problem. You're not the protagonist. <laughs> you sure? He seems more like the main protagonist now. Yeah, but typically the man pretend it's like, I gotta get better. I gotta go after the bigger, stronger people. Yeah, but there's always a moment of self-doubt. Doesn't matter who it is. That's really both of these, both of these characters combined make one main character. That's the, there you go. <laughs> That's perfect. That's the best description. Thank you. Ironically, they need each other. Oh, it ends right there. All right, so. We can talk about... So I have a new idea for the opening, how the opening's rep represented. Okay. So, it's... The opening is, like, all of them together, and they're all, like, chill. But then it's... It's, um... You know, Langa going... It looks like Langa's going towards Adam. Like, he's gone to the dark side. Mm -hmm. But it's not... And then it's always... It's Rinky moping. Well, no, it's... Rin Rinky's literally just moping trying to catch up to langan and he's he is going after adam but he wants to race against adam he wants to be better than adam so in a way it's the same but at the same time it's not <laughs> yeah i don't know like I, I understand this episode is supposed to be sad and we're supposed to sympathize with reiki because but you know oh he's not doing good and everything but i don't know it just didn't hit me i guess i was emotionally invest invested in like Usually that I am, I guess. Well, I mean, I, if if you're thinking the same thing I'm thinking, I think we're both thinking that Rinky is being kind of a... Yeah, because I didn't want to say, but he's kind, of, <laughs> he's kind of being lame. Like, oh, you promised me. It's like, are we really going to do this? Like, are we really going to do this? Like, that's why I sighed. I'm like, oh, come on. This again. He has, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if he's going to get over his fear. Um, uh, Because honestly, I believe now... I can't... First one for me, what I see now, I believe that his mom and sister are actually gonna do something with Reiki, inspire him because they've been getting a little bit more screen time. But you know, ah, uh, I mean, maybe well, the thing is they they know they know Reiki better than anyone. I mean, they literally said, "Oh, you don't you forgot your bento? Oh, he forgot his umbrella." <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, we'll just have to. I but I don't know if he's gonna become like a, like. He's a good skater, but he's not nearly as good as, like, everyone else. He just needs to find what makes oh. him better. I don't know. If he needs a gimmick. <laughs> he kind of has a gimmick, but it's not like... It hasn't... His gimmick is... His gimmick is creating skateboards. Yeah. He needs to do something with that. I don't know. I guess maybe I just don't like Reiki being mopey and sad, but I understand. Well, no one likes that. <laughs> He needs to grow up. Yeah. And get good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I think that wraps it up.
So like always, guys, we will see you in the next episode.